Dear God, we come before you with a humble heart, a thankful and a grateful spirit. I acknowledge you for the many blessings that you have opened up unto us, and I give your name the praise. Amen, amen. This morning, my message is entitled, The Potter Wants to Put You Back Together Again. The potter wants to put you back together again. The definition of a potter, of a pottery maker, is a craft artist who uses his artistic talents to create pots and dishes and mugs and vases and other types of artwork. Most potters create functional pieces that are meant to use on a daily basis. But how about spiritual? Spiritual God is the potter and we are the clay. One of the most powerful analogies in the Bible regarding our transformation and sanctification in the Lord has to be the analogy of the potter and the clay. The Bible says that God is the potter and we, his children, we are the clay. It is up to God to shape, to mold, to transform and sanctify us as we journey through this earthly life. Can I get a witness? You see, the potter wants to be able to put you back together again. Yes, the potter wants to transform your life. A nursery rhyme. Hunt the dumpling set on a wall. Well, it goes on to say that Hunt the Dumpling had a great fall. And all the king horses and all the king men, in other words, everybody, tried to put Huntley back together again, but through all of their efforts. They couldn't put him back together again. See, all of us has been a Humpty Dumpty at some point in our lives. Sin and transgressions, living the fast life, smoking dope, the clubbing lifestyle, drinking, trying to keep up with the crowd, Sex from one woman to the other. Sex from one man to the other. Disobedience that caused our life to crumble. But Jesus. But Jesus, the potter, transformed us from a liar to a witness. From a sinner to a Christian. From a wife beater to a pastor. From a prostitute to a missionary. Well, the potter just wants to put you back together again. You see, sometimes we think we are unusable. We think we are unredeemable. We have done something for which we feel shame and we feel guilt and we think God can no longer do much with us. Like the five foolish virgins. They went too far and they stayed too long. See, our problems are occasionally of our own making. Our pain arises from our own stupidity. But when we bring our sins to the Lord and confess it earnestly, nail it to the cross of Christ and surrender it to the power of his shed blood, God can take our lives, take our sins and shame and spin them into a design that glorifies him. If you under some types of pressure right now, I want you to visualize the skillful hands of the divine potter, using it for good in your life. See, pray as Isaiah said in Isaiah 64, 8. But now, O oh Lord, you are our father, and we are the clay. You are the potter, and all we are the works of your hand. Somebody just say, work on me, Lord. See, we have been formed from the clay, 
and God physically shaped us. Adam from the clay of the earth and breathed the breath of life into Adam before Adam became a living soul. Second Corinthians 4, 7 said, but we have this treasure in earthly vessels, jars of clay, that the excellency of the power may be to, of God and not of us. But the Bible also tells us that God wants spiritually to fashion us and to vessels fit for his use. He wants to mold us as the image of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Apostle Paul says God wants to form us as vessels of honor sanctify and useful for the master and prepare us for some good works. Job and Job's 10, 8 through 9. He says, your hands has made me and fashioned me. You have made me like clay. This gives us a biblical warrant for thinking of the events and the evidence and the influence of our lives as his hands and fingers shaping us like a potter began to shape the clay. You see, first God wants to form us and his hands are on our life. He knows how to skillfully apply pressure. He knows how to relax his grip. He knows how to score your life with his fingertips, how to squeeze and nudge. All of it is designed to make you a vessel fit for his use. See, sometimes he even places us in the kingdom where the fires of life turn us into more a solid foundation for his use. Have you been tried? in the fire. Romans 8 and 28 says that God works all things for the good of those who love him and according to his purpose. But the next verse gives us the purpose. The purpose is in the 29th verse is to be conformed to the image of the son of God. You see, our Heavenly Father wants to use the events we encounter each day as tools which shapes and structure us into the image of Christ. He wants to deepen our faith to, and he wants to qualify us for his work. Let us pray. Today, make it our prayers as we think of the forming and reforming of your hand, Master. We think of you as the matter potter, Master Potter, and you're sh craftily shaking our lives. You're shaping us into a vessel of honor. And Lord, we want to be fit for your use. God, have your way in our lives as you form us and reform us for your wonderful image. Work on us, Lord. Yes, the potter wants to put you back together again. Amen.